Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 63 of the Foster Child Challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And at the end of the last part, I said I was going to move the twins out and I have indeed done that. And I did move in two new toddlers. They are, let's take a look, Jasmine Barker. And she was created by Becky XD. I will put the details down below and hopefully have a, the name go across here. That's her origin ID. And then also Maya Rees. And uh, <laughs> let me go click on her. And she was created by Cylon17. And I, again, hopefully will put the details across the name, but it will also be down in the description below, as is a link to the full rules for the foster child challenge and my tweaks to those rules that I am following. Now, everybody's out on the block because I had to, you know, rearrange things to move the twins out. They are still in Newcrest. They are in a different neighborhood in Newcrest. They went to my only empty lot that I had here, which I placed a, a, a starter home down for them. So they have that. It's a three bedroom. So Oliver can eventually move in with them. There's a space for him. But I figured while well, we have new, brand new toddlers, we would just start with two to make it a little bit easier. I actually do have aging off right now because I noticed that Jasmine, it, even though she has really, like she's just like just at starting one, so she really has nothing, it shows her, I'm on the wrong sim, <laughs> but uh, Jasmine is the same. She shows that she's just about to age up. So actually when I came in here the first time, <laughs> He aged up on me, so I was like, what's going on? So I had to remove her from the world and re-add her after I turned aging off. So for as long as she is a toddler, we are going to have aging off, and then I'll put it back on long. That'll give me more time for her to maybe get, you know, the full goals that we were doing in the first place. But I am still looking for feedback as to whether maybe I should go for a shorter goal, not 20 kids or until either 20 kids aged up to young adult or our current caregivers became or about to age up to adult. This, the, the aging thing is not a big deal because they could always take a youth potion to go reset themselves. So that's not an issue. It just is more a matter of, you know, if you'd like me to move on to a different challenge or if you'd like me to see this go all the way to the original 20 that I had set. We do have nine young adults and two kids who, you know, once they get to the kid stage, they've completed their aspirations. We're just working on their character values and then they'll age up to teens to finish working on those things and the couple of goals they need to do as teens. So we, they're, they're not that much time left till they age up, but toddlers take quite a long time to max all their skills. So it can take a little bit of time, but I could also try playing a little bit of that skill skilling of the toddlers off camera but speaking of toddlers as I do only have two right now but I would like another little boy toddler once these two have some basic skills down I don't even mind having three toddlers at once I just would prefer not to have three brand spanking new new toddlers all at the same time so Oliver could move out and like I said he could move in with the twins but let's hit play poor Oliver is actually sick poor guy and uh let's take a look at jasmine she is a bit hungry she doesn't seem to need she, her blo her bladder is fine and same with maya so what i normally like to do is throw in some food into their inventory so that they can you know eat a little bit we'll give her some lemons so they can quickly eat as opposed to, you know, having to worry about, oh my goodness, we have no food and we have a, and then we have some grilled cheese ready to eat. So we'll give her the grilled cheese ready to eat. So she can have one of those and you can have one of these. And I will see if someone else has something in their inventory that they can give you that might be better than the lemon. So she has tons of grilled cheese ready to eat, but I don't want to give her all of those grilled cheese ready to eat. Because that's way more than she needs, I would think. So let's just, you know, grab a few of them and put them in our inventory. I do still need to roll what their traits and everything are going to be once they age up to child, etc. But I will do that once we're like ready for them to, <laughs> to age up. But if you do have a little boy toddler to uh, provide... Um, I don't remember if I said this because I had started this and then I had my age up on me. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you actually know what you want their traits to be, 
as they age up and their, you know, aspiration that you want them to have, let me know that too. I do have all the packs. Um, I am pre-recording this, so while Get Famous is out, I will have it. Just that I want to make sure that everything's working fine. So I made sure that this was done beforehand because I just didn't want to have to touch my save until afterwards. But that, you know, anything from there will be uh, an option too because I do plan on getting it. And when this comes out, I should probably already have it or will be getting it very shortly. So they're all out here. He took his medicine. All those spots are gone. They're having their little snacks to eat. I don't know how much that lemon would have filled her up. She's still, well, she's still eating it. She's jammed that whole thing in her mouth. <laughs> but I'm not seeing a lot of, uh, seeing a lot of Im impact from it. Yeah. So why don't you have a grilled cheese ready to eat? See if that helps you at all. But I did have Oliver start a career in the last part and his, he has to go watch two performers in the arts quarter. So I think we're going to go all head out as a family in the middle of the night. Let me make sure that our club gathering is going. It is. So I'm going to travel to the arts quarter and I'll be back when we get there. So they're here in the arts quarter, which is where we needed to go. And I need to watch two performers. So I am having Isabella play. So that will count as one performer. So I'm going to have him watch Oh, and he can teach her about responsibility. Well, that will be good. That will should hopefully help him with his parenting skill. And also, I I know at least one of them needs responsibility worked on. Oh, she's one of them. I think they both do, for that matter. Oh, I see someone about to make a mess. Isabella, no, you can... No, you're not going to make a mess. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> and I do have, this is a, an edited version of the uh, art gallery that comes with City Living, where I've made it toddler friendly and added like potty chairs and toddler things. So I have both uh, Lacey and Nicholas potty training the toddlers so that we can get their skills worked on right away. And I have Addison drawing her last painting she needed to do. I don't know if she has a violin in her inventory. She does not, but you know, we will let her get of that particular one down, done. And so let's look and see. Oliver, do you have anyone else? Is there anyone else playing here? Usually there is someone. Well, there we go. We can come watch her. But I, I find there's only one. That's why I brought, I do. That is something I usually like to do when I come for this particular, you know, um, <laughs> the career is I found it much easier just to bring someone with me who your sim can watch because there's usually only one person in the arts quarter and they don't always leave. So there's not necessarily two. So it makes it a little bit harder if you are relying on others to be doing it. So he has now got his work performance done. Our Nicholas is still potty training. And Isabella, you are not the one I'm looking at. You're still doing your picture. So I kind of want to finish the picture. What, what we should do is start a gathering because I didn't realize we didn't have a gathering going. But I can tell from her whim that we did not. She wants to finish reading a book and she wants to have a water balloon fight. Well, I'll just leave them as they are. And Oliver, let's take a look. You need to have a bath. You, bath. You need to have a bath. <laughs> Yes, you did a bath or a shower because you're you're doing that. So I'm going to like just hang out here until essentially Addison is finished her painting and then I'm going to bring them back home. So I'll be back when they get home. Well, we are back home. I do have some Sims who need to look after themselves. We're going to take her to take a shower. We will let Oliver have a thoughtful shower. I did actually have him introduce himself to I tried to have him introduce himself to three sims but it looks like only one, either he only did one or only one registered I'm gonna put him back on his best-selling author aspiration but he no longer has to write that column because instead he had to watch two performers in the arts quarter and he is supposed to work in five hours but I think I did a custom holiday for this day so I don't think he does um, Isabella, she is also, she's filthy, and I think they're both, I think everybody needs to clean up. I think they're all kind of dirty. And Nicholas, he doesn't look too bad. He's just a little bit. So we're going to have him take a shower, 
And then Lacey needs it more, but I think that's kind of our bathrooms. Though we have one over here, so she could come shower here. There we go. There we got. Oh, and then we have one more bathroom. <laughs> There's enough bathrooms. They can all shower. So they can take their shower. He can. I don't. I already had him set up. So one, two, three. I don't know. I don't remember where I told people to shower now. Oops. Hopefully I'm okay. And no one's going to walk in on themselves. Yeah, there we go. There's my summer fun custom holiday. I was going to say, where's all my activities? <laughs> where did they all go? Did I have her go? I'm a little bit concerned that I double, double, double did one of these showers. Yep, I did. I definitely did. So she's going to go here, and you can instead come over here and take your thoughtful shower. There, there we're fine. But Nicholas, so they're all showering, but I've got our toddlers. They're all here. But what we need to do with our toddlers, which I forgot, was we need to uh, adopt as care dependent. Adopt as care dependent. And I'm going to have him do it for, for both. And I have to do that with all of my young adults that I want to do that. <laughs> uh, toddler care, adopt as care dependent. Because while you can do certain things, you can't do everything with them without doing that. And I'm going to have Nicholas, oh, sorry, Nicholas, Oliver do the same. Because, you know, he may as well, because then he can help out a lot more. And luckily, he can just do this automatically and not actually have to be on them while he's doing that. So our summer fun activities, which will carry over into the next part, is do an egg hunt, because I'm hoping we can complete the egg collection, but not sure. Um, we need to have water fun, which uh, means you can either go swimming or you can we can get a water sprinkler out which i don't have out uh we can get a water a kitty pool out which would be good for the toddlers or water balloons which are around the neighborhood and then we need to either have a bonfire a campfire light a fireplace or burn a leaf pile which of course i don't think there should be any leaf piles around in the summer and then we need to barbecue so <laughs> i just thought i'd do it and then like we're gonna see how this works so and I did start a new uh, um, alumni club because our first one did fill up because of the number of sims that we have aged up. So our first one here is that's our regular foster club. And I left uh, everybody in it because we didn't need to get rid of anyone yet. It's not until the, tw the toddlers age up that we'll need to make room. So we have our original five plus Shahir and Oliver is in... Lacey's Foster Club, Alumni 1, and Nicholas has a Foster Club, Alumni 2, so Scarlett and Sean are in there, so as the rest of them age up, we will put them in there, so, and then, like I said, as I need space, I remove them out of our actual basic club, and let me see, Addison, I think we have a lot of things to collect here. So let's collect all her badges. She has give back and good deeds left to do. But we may as well just get everything she she has. Because then, you know, you got to do it. She may as well do it. She's got so many. I don't even remember where, <laughs> which ones I've done. We'll let, her, we'll let her collect some. And then we'll see what's left in the end. So Oliver, you... Are you still sick? I thought you were over your sickness. You need to cure it with bed rest. So why don't you come and take a... Oh, you can hunt for an egg. But we're not going to do that right now. You're just going to go come have a nap since you're supposedly sick. And our little ones, they like the water fun and they want to hunt for an egg. They probably need to go to sleep, actually. And so she can hunt for an egg and then after she's done hunting... I am going to, you need, you, you can just have a bath. You can have a shower. Come take a shower over there. And you can hunt for an egg. Do a couple of hunting for eggs. She is so tired and she's probably hungry for that matter, actually. They probably haven't eaten enough. I know what we need to do. We need to have Nicholas come over here and we need to give... Jasmine a second win mainly because I want them to be able to um eat <laughs> before they go to bed because <laughs> they're kind of unfortunately very 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 tired 
So, Lacey, when you are finished with that, you are going to come and find our... I have to now I have to get their name straight. Little Maya. And do the same thing with her. We want to give her a second wind. I think... I think I did it this way. No, not parenting. Yeah, it is parenting. Help with needs. Give a second wind. And then we're going to grab some food out. So that... I can't seem to take that out, so we'll leave that in there. And I'll look for something that's camphor stew. And we will put it over here, which is what I have this set up for. And then our little ones can come and grab something to eat, because of course they actually need to eat. Is that a single? It is. So that didn't actually really help me. <laughs> <laughs> that helped, but it wasn't quite what I was expecting. Uh, I don't know if I want a ham dinner, because that's just going to probably make her dazed. Okay, we'll do this one. <laughs> so this is little Maya. You're going to come here and grab a serving. Did you get your second wind? So you're not quite so tired? You're still pretty tired. Yeah, yeah, poor thing. And then you know what? Why don't you come and put on... Watch the... Where, where are you guys going? You should just eat here. Because then you can watch some TV and get your fun up while you're at it. Well, at least our little Maya is staying here. So she can watch. She can watch this. We'll probably do more of the summer fun activities in our next part. Because <laughs> there's not really going to be a lot of time left. Oh, you're not eating your food. Oh my goodness. You need to eat. What did you do with your food? You're just wasting time, my dear. Just Sometimes they can do it and sometimes they can't. It's a little bit frustrating. So I'm going to put this here. And I want you to eat. Eat your trout manière. Because you're hungry and you're tired. And I was trying to get you to have fun and eat at the same time. So I guess forget that idea since that doesn't seem to be working. And how, why don't you come over here and you come and rally the troops? Oh, well we have to, we have to actually start our gathering <laughs> before we can rally the troops. <laughs> so I've done that now. So we're gonna clubs, club gatherings, rally the troops. And why don't we have them do a couple of things. We're gonna hunt for some eggs. We can't hunt for there. I didn't remember we realized. I have had noticed that, that sometimes you can't hunt for eggs in places that they say that you've hunted in it. Even though I don't recall hunting in this particular time. So I don't know how long the countdown is for it, but there seems to be some type of countdown. Now you can't hunt for eggs in there. Oh, but you can hunt for eggs in, uh, you can't because we've searched there. But even like the plants outside, not, not these types of things, but if we have... I think there's a little bit, yeah, here. So we can come over here and hunt for egg here. Yeah, so that's kind of a nice thing. Did you eat, my dear? Yeah, you're eating. You're finally eating. And you have eaten. So what I want you to do is I want you... Your foster sister is on the wrong bed. Hmm, you're sitting here, that's why. I kind of want you to have a story read to you. Can you ask the nanny for a story since he's sitting right there? Nope. I'm thinking she's going to sleep. Yeah, she just has the options to sleep. I kind of want to have a story read to you. Yeah, you're going to sleep, so we can't. So you're more likely to have a nightmare because of that, unfortunately. So, Nicholas, why don't you read Maya to sleep when she's done? You want to chat with Isabella... And you want to... No, I don't like using laser pointers because they make you too playful. But you want to tell a story to Jasmine. Well, maybe hopefully when she wakes up you can do that. But for now, can you tell a story to Maya? Or read Maya to sleep? Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess you can't read her to sleep right now anyways because she's busy eating her food. And... I'm going to have you come and rally the troops because I see some hungry sims 
And you are now focused from doing <laughs> the bonsai. And I needed you to be inspired for your writing, not focused. Okay, we have some more bouncing around. So let's try this again. Clubs, club gatherings, rally the troops. Yeah, jumping. I'm not a big fan of that. Hopefully it goes away soon. So he wants to read a toddler to sleep from being a caregiver and bond with the bees. So we can leave that too. And you're going to come here. And where are you? You're over here with the bond. You were, okay, you're here. So I'm going to have you go and... Why don't we... We can't hunt for an egg there. <laughs> so many places we can't hunt for eggs. Hunt for an egg. Nope. Nope. Has Have we done that? Yeah, we did. I already checked that one. Can we hunt for an egg in the dog bed? Nope. <laughs> Why don't we take you further? Yeah, you can come further. Oh, look, we got the bunny. Can we hunt for an egg there? No, we can only admire it. Hunt for egg. That's all the same thing. Hunt for egg. There we go. I'm going to hunt for a few eggs, and hopefully that will count. And he has quite a few of these that he loves to barbecue. So what is your, your cooking skill? It's fine. You're going to come out here and you're going to grill some baked potato. That's what you're going to do. And I guess we need to get a bonfire for them to have on the lot. We can put it out or you can warm south. I don't think we want to warm south south because <laughs> it's kind of warm out but I do think my goodness he just keeps making drinks like, and then it's filthy and fizzy free drinks are kind of a waste but we can throw them in the garbage and we can have I think we were partially getting some of these done so we have some more badges. We have sociability and scholarly apt aptitude. And he, she still needs to do some good deeds. So we're going to have her empty the trash. Yes. And, oh, she's too short. Pristine and dry. Okay, we'll just leave that for now. She is feeling a bit clingy and is going to stay extra close to her favorite caregiver. So, good deeds. Let's forget that. All done. So, we, we started a little bit with the summer fun activities. And Oliver did his work from home task. Which he probably didn't need to rush to do. But it's probably better to get out of the way. And we now have two new toddlers in the house. And as I said, you know, once they have their skills sort of like three-ish for all of them. Then I would open would like to add my third toddler to the house who I would really like to be a boy. So let me know down below if you would like to create a boy toddler for me so that uh, just because we've had four females in a row. I mean before that we had a boy and a girl and then we had Oliver who was a boy so we have had a mixture of both. It's just I think I'd like to have another boy <laughs> at this point. But that is going to be it for this part. Thanks very much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos that challenge Let's Plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much!